Ronan. for you, known to everybody, General Secretary of the TNC, Francis O'Grady. Thank you very much, Martin. I don't know if I wish I could sing. Uh, first of all, on behalf of the whole TNC and the trade union movement, to all the workers, the pensioners and the students here, may they greetings. This is our day. And just before I get going, I know that there are people over there in Westminster and there are people over there in County Hall who want to see us divided. So I want us to send a strong message to them today. Are we united? Yeah. Are we strong? Yeah. Now we know that today is our day to celebrate our values, our great causes of equality and solidarity and peace. Because it is wrong that in Britain today, no child should have to queue at a food bank or go hungry. No worker should get pushed about by the boss. And it is wrong that the five richest families in the United Kingdom have more money than the poorest 12 million. That is wrong, and we have got to stop it. Now we're here to remember our values, but we're also here to honor two great heroes of the labor movement, Tony Benz and Bob Crow. And Bob Crow wasn't just like a brother to me, or to you, or everyone in the RMT and the trade union movement. Bob Crow was a brother to workers worldwide. And of all the achievements, I just want to mention three. First of all, as others have said, Bob was an organizer. And if across the trade union movement, we could build the movement in the way that Bob built the RMT, we wouldn't have six million members, we'd have ten million members. Bob was also a committed anti-racist and anti-fascist. With every bone in his body, he fought the BNP. So let's recommit ourselves today. We will fight the BNP and all fascists and rapists. But Bob also stood up for workers. He stood up for his members, and he stood up for free and independent trade unions. And he knew, he knew that there were times the only way you will win justice, the only way you will win for workers, is if you take strike action. And let's not forget, to all the media out there, let's not forget the only reason that cleaners on the London Underground what a living wage is because they went on strike to win it. And that's why I hope, I hope in the London Underground dispute, I hope we will reach a fair and just settlement. But I tell you that if striking is the only way to win, then that's what we must do. And that's why the PUC 100% backs the RNT in that strike action. Now, I know that Boris, Boris has been complaining about the ballot. This is the same Boris who only won 20% of Londoners to vote for him for mayor. I know, I know that Boris is also saying, he's saying that uh, uh, we're behaving like union barons. This is the man who promised 
No ticket office would be closed. Well, I'd rather have a union baron than a Tory liar. <laughs> The problem is not that we expect too much. The problem is that we demand too little. And I want us today to recommit ourselves to the great causes that Tony Benn and Bob Crow each fought for. There are our causes. Peace, equality, solidarity. Because together, as one movement, united, together, we will win. Thank you. Okay, there's close of Janice Track in the background there. Thank you. Thank you, Francis. There's not many general secretaries <laughs> that have come to okay. the Alpha Square. If I'm going for Janice Track, they're being ignored. Back in well, here. Our next